double dot to access the folder that I need. In this case, I'm just getting back one step back in features or step definition. So I need to go back to the Cypress folder. So you can use an at, use pages, and you're gonna see that I'm gonna have access to the same directory. Now we have the run all the specs working fine. So I just have to click on this and you're gonna see how I am running every single test file that I have in my framework. This is the version that I have, right? But you can see that they, there is a latest one. Cypress Cucumber preprocessor has de deprecated a couple of functions. After every single build or pull request that I'm doing, I am creating a GitHub page using Allure reports. All right, masters, let me give you a little bit of context of what I wanna solve in my framework so you can maybe apply the same trick in yours, okay? Um, as you can see, this is a kind of a Cypress Cucumber boilerplate that you can clone. I'm gonna leave the in the description of this video um, all the information to, to well see what is happening here. But uh, you can see that under my Cypress folder, I do have a pages folder. And inside of the pages folder, I have a login page.js file, okay? In this file, I do have a class name login page with a lot of elements and, and functions inside. And you can see that I do have a, a final export, right? A, with a variable, a const variable, right? And I'm just instantiating a new, well, um, a new object here, right? And I, I can import this constant, uh, well, in my project anywhere else, right? So you can see that under my end-to-end -end folder and under my step definitions, I wanted to import that particular uh, constant the login page, okay? And you can see that I am using the import from syntax to, well, get access to that particular file and uh, bring that particular constant to this uh, JS file instance, right? So uh, you can see that I'm doing here is basically the regular uh, relative path syntax using double dot to access the folder that I need. In this case, I'm just getting back one step back in features or step definition. So I need to go back to the Cypress folder, then look for pages and login page file over here, okay? But you can get rid of this particular, um, well, syntax because it could be over, uh, overwhelming to maintain this kind of stuff, right? So you can use an at, use pages, and you're gonna see that I'm gonna have access to the same directory, all right? And you can see that it is beautiful. And I wanna explain you how you can achieve this, okay? So if you open, if I open my Google Chrome here, you're gonna see the magic in this particular configuration file. It is jsconfig.json, okay? Um, you can see that it is part of the Visual Studio Code documentation. Here you have all the details of how it works, best practices, options, using web back aliases and, and, and more. Here also you have some examples, okay? But uh, you can see that in my project directory here, I do have it, and this is the structure that you're gonna need, right? Or that I need for this dummy project, okay? So it is basically an object. You can see that it has like a key named compiler option, right? This is an object as well, and it has a couple of properties inside. It has base URL. You only have to define here the like the this is the base URL, right? And then you can define as many paths as you need. In my case, I have defined pages because it is the only one that I need, okay? You can see that, um, well, it is simple, a simple path. And instead of this, I'm defining in, in the position zero, zero of my array, the path where my pages folder is, okay? So I'm just uh, looking for a Cypress pages folder and I want to access every single file that is in that particular path, okay? So, as you can see, it is working perfectly fine. I'm declaring just a simple add pages because that's the path that I have defined. That's like an alias, right? And you can see that I am replacing, um, well, this with a better and cleaner uh, syntax for you, right? So, I hope that you like it. Let's continue with the video. All right, masters, let's continue with the video. And I want to give you a trick if you're working with Cypress. Let's imagine that you want to run every single uh, script that you have in your framework, and you don't want to, well, click on every single one, okay? So, you may want to have a run all, right? It's kind of button over here and it is possible at the moment i am recording in in the version cypress 12 which is the well the, the current one the, the latest one 
and the the only solution that we that we have to apply in our framework is go to the cypress.config.js or ts and you're gonna have to use the property experimental run all specs uh, and then we'll use the property true okay it, it has to be under the end when property here and that's it it is going to work perfectly fine i'm going to save this and you're going to see how uh, my 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 well the test runner is reloaded and now we have the run all the specs working fine so i just have to click on this and you're going to see how i am running every single test file that i have in my framework all right masters i wanted to uh, give you um well an advice if you want to use it right um, I, I recommend a Visual Studio Code extension named version lens okay let me give you a like, like the overview of how it can help you okay as you can see in my package that Jason let's imagine that I am working with Cypress 11 all right and let's imagine that you want to check if this is the latest version okay you can go ahead and check the official documentation the Cypress change log that I recommend you to come here and check because there is a lot of changes happening and you may want to consider <laughs> how, how we can uh, how it works and if, he, if it is going to uh, well interfere with your current version of your framework right but you're going to see uh, this button in your Visual Studio code I think that you cannot see it I'm sorry guys let me see there it is and it's this particular button over here okay you, you only have to press it and you're gonna see, uh, well, a lot of um, information here in your, in your package, the JSON. And you can see that in my Cypress dependency, well, this is the version that I have, right? But you can see that they, there is a latest one, right? So if you wanna use it, you only have to click on that, proceed to reinstall the dependencies and you're gonna have the latest one. But I hope that you see the power of the extension, right? It is going to help you to get your dependencies up to date and or at least ha have have an idea of what is the latest or if your project has to be updated soon right all right guys i also want to give you a, a heads up because uh, the cypress cucumber preprocessor has de deprecated a couple of functions the and and the but functions okay for step definitions um if you don't know what is this, I can give you a hint because in my tags here, let me go ahead and, and check the first one. You're going to see that um, da, 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 this one over here and I want to browse the files. Um, well, some time ago, <laughs> we were capable to define the features using and and, and but, right? We can use that th those functions over here. And well as you can see here in the in the ticket they decided to deprecate and embot okay this guy over here uh, i don't know either uh, here is aslak uh, heliso and i don't know how to pronounce the name sorry guys but uh, well you can see here that well, the Cucumber JS project doesn't have an embot keywords because it only belong in Gherkin you can see that the step definitions are reusable in any order and should therefore not use an and but. So I just wanted to tell you guys because I needed to replace the and and the but in my project. <laughs> and that's something that I just wanted to tell you. You, you. you cannot use them anymore and and it makes sense, I guess. So you can come here. I'm going to leave the this particular link in the description of this video. You can come here, check the discussions <laughs> that are going on. And if you want to, uh, well, add some comment here and, and say your point of view, it is totally okay. All right. So I just wanted to tell you that, guys, and let's continue with the next part of the video. Also wanted to tell you that, um, well, in the repository that you're going to have in the description of this video, and you can come here and check how I did it. After every single build or pull requests that I'm doing, I am creating a GitHub page using Allure reports. Um, I have a, well reviewed how you can use Allure report in your local computer right before. Uh, you can just look for John Media, Cypress, Allure, and there is going to be the video. However, in this particular case, I'm constructing an Allure report using a GitHub action. Okay, And you can come here to the 
to the repository, right? So let me go to the master branch and you're gonna see that under the that github slash workflows, I do have an allure that YAML file. And here you have all the steps that I'm using to check out, run my cucumber file. Here you also have the, the file to generate the Allure report and how I am deploying this in a GitHub page. So if you wanna come here and check how I'm doing this, there you have it, right? It is, it is for, for you to check it. And you can see that, uh, well, for example, this last build was done yesterday at the moment that I'm recording this video and you have all the details in that particular JAMA file if you want to explore it, right? So guys, I think that this has been an amazing video. I hope that you enjoyed all the details that I'm providing to you because I, I think that it is a lot of information useful. And I hope that you can subscribe, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section what else do you want to, to check. Probably the next step could be something like checking the Cypress 12 update all the details that we have to discuss inside of on this new uh, well general available version and let's go ahead and take a look of that in the, in the next future videos thank you very much guys it's a pleasure this was john media and see you in the next one bye bye